first thing that the people that you go to talk to see is your face expression. And then they already realize that you have issues. Tell me, first of all, where is your weight? And what are you thinking about? First pitch, face is drunk. Okay. First of all, remember that I'm thinking about the history behind, from before that I have against. Scherzer used to uh, try to show me the fastball. Overpower, you to go hard on a fastball so he can get me off the changer. I sure do. Right? Fastball away, changer. And then after he worked me away, next to bat, he would like to pound me in hard. And I was ready for the fastball in because you know how quick I was right here. Right? But I know too much. So everything would come out like, mm. Mm. You know what percentage saying? of your weight was in the front or in the back? Right here. So would you say like 60, One, 40, one. 70, 30? I exaggerated. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 back. I, I want everything to be back here. You loaded it up in the back. Everything was back here. And, and then I said we may never made it up. And then when you're thinking for the fastball in, right, you look, you're, you're always ready for your fastball in. Oh, it was, it was, what were you trying to do with that pitch? Get my hands close to my body mm -hmm. so I can get my barrel to it. I never was trying to be right here. Everything was like, I load up. If you look at my video from the front, my hands basically high. You barely see my hands out here. My hands were like right here. That was that was that was the thing that that was good about me. My hands was close to my body. I I, I don't know how I was able to because big guy like us. Yeah. It's hard to. Yeah. But I was able to do that here, so that's why I was so quick right here. Interesting thing about Strasburg is he's got three dominant pitchers. Um, one in, in baseball, he's got you two to eight. Eight is the best. He's got three pitches that are eight. So that's unheard of. Okay. Chipper Jones. Pedro Martinez type of shit. Like Pedro Martinez is another great comparable. Chipper Jones, who I have like the utmost respect for his like baseball acumen, savant, switch hitter who doesn't ever have to worry about a slider coming into him. Said so Alex, in my 20 plus year career, this is the best stuff I've ever seen. That's when I said, oh, so again, this is another historic guy that people all over the place, and this is just another one. Yeah, man. Hey, everybody. Hey, man. Thanks for Damn, me. bam. Great show. Good post game. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Post -game. I thought it was fun. Let me tell you something. There was three down 3 1 in game five. Staring at elimination of the face. Two pitches, they tied it, and then a minute later, they won it. And then it's been men among boys ever since then. Men amongst boys. Hey, confidence, hey, confidence, right? Hey, you have a kid coming out of the bench that I haven't seen in a bat, who knows since when. First pitch, 90 C. Paya! That is crazy. That is crazy. Those little things you gotta pay attention to. Because that happens only when a team is at momentum. When a team is, is, is going on a run the, in the right direction, they could run. I'll tell you what else is a good sign for them. When you when you end up a little opening, this happens in any sport, you give them a little opening, nine unanswered runs. They hit you with so many rights, you were begging for a left. I'm you. Sugar Ray Robinson. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, you know what that's what do? great teams do. You can't give them, you remember the Yankees back in the day? Yeah, you, you give them an inch, inch, you give them an inch, it's over. Like, two to one. Three to one, you look up, you go to the bathroom, 11 to one, you look, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Salute. Hello.
everybody listening has been that one person that's an underdog, that people don't believe in you, right. or you're not smart enough, right? It's a, I'm actually speaking to the 99% in this case. You get to win. I like that pretty color now. What is that? Is that like a, like a purple? Same one from before. Oh my god, I miss you so much. Para que Valia no diga, good job. Oh, Valia, Valia. Oh, Valia, Valia. Oh, Valia, Valia. Oh, Valia, Valia. What was he saying? Nothing. I don't know. Sound of helping. Behind my back. What was he saying? Yeah, he does. <laughs> 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 like you're having a heart attack. Okay, I'm gonna let this one go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> so boy, I can go like, good job, guys. <laughs> 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 Better defense and to hit better with man in scoring position. Contact, only five strikeouts. The lowest number so far in this postseason. The Nationals struck out 12 times. Better defense, no errors, and two for the Nationals. And we said hit better with man in scoring position. Tonight, four for 10. The Nationals, 0 and 10. So, little role reversal tonight here. Uh, the, the Nationals looked a little tight, not as comfortable. The Astros were back to the old Astros. Lucy Goosey playing very comfortable, more engaged, more confident. And we talked about before the game that the day off and a change of scenery is the best thing that can happen for the Astros. And we were dead on on that. The worst things for the National was the day off and a change of scenery. If you're the Nationals, you want to stay in Houston and play an entire month because you're playing so well. And the last thing you want is a day off because you don't want to kill the momentum. I believe the pressure's back on the Nationals. They brought in Corbin from Arizona Diamondbacks for a game like tomorrow night. And tomorrow night, the winner of game four, you heard it here, will win the World Series. The biggest game of the year in the nation's capital, 50,000 people waiting to win a world championship. Minus sunshine, 75 and sunny. Game four, the winner of tonight's game, you heard it here, will be world champions. And if the Nationals win, it'll be the first championship in over 95 years in this city. Mr. Lerner, the owner, is 94. Amazing synergies in numbers. We have identical glasses, brother. What? The Versace's. Yeah. We have identical glasses. See, that's why you have, have somebody with a ray back. Well, Fernando, Fernando had my pair. That pair over there, I've been looking hey, for mine for almost four $60, days. Right. And Dolby and I was like, hey, you know those A Rock glasses? No, they're for mine. Four days. You have a clear advantage 
on the mound, and that's why Bryce Harper's not here, and Corbin is. So Corbin, that's what you were here for. You could pay you a hundred and you know so many million for this. One win can be worth the whole contract. Yeah. One check. Part of this whole thing is, look, he, he's a prince trying to become the king of the city. And uh, part of not tasting the champagne before you earned it, he certainly tasted the cake. We had 44,000 people singing happy birthday to him. Poppy and I gave him a cake at one of probably 10 to the birthday party. Like, you have to just make sure you kind of stay really focused and locked in your cocoon and don't get ahead of yourself. If he does that. The Hinch has to manage this game like it's game seven, because to Poppy's point, the winner of this game wins the World Series. If you have Cole tomorrow, you gotta put all your fucking chips on the center of that table tonight. Houston. Can we go a night without predicting? No. no. Why would Why? I do that? <laughs> because you're gonna disappoint your fans. Oh. That's a great one. Save that for the year. <laughs> this guy right here, he played for the Marlins. I played for the Mariners. This is the same guy right here that told Appleton me. Appleton Foxes. Kane County Cougars. Oh. Go. That's right. Same guy that told me the World Series. And then it's ALCS 2004. Hey, let us just win one game with this <laughs> over here. Sorry, man. Let us win one game. You suck it, man. Then they won two. Oh, three, oh, I remember four. that. This month. This, this month, guy right here. This guy over here with two more. Is this ball? Ball. Hey. I'm still no, suffering. I'm in therapy because of it. I was just a mouse. I, had, I, I was just a mouse. Puppy had to take care of that. He hands. walked. He hey. walked before Dave Roberts. This, stole this guy was the bartender. <laughs> That's all I, I serve in the drinks. You know, you always need a good bartender. Hey, what were those drinks? What were those drinks? Yeah. Let me think about Jack Daniels. And then we get in trouble for drinking Jack Daniels before a game. He said, my boy, big guy, what's happening? The first thing that the people that you go to talk to see if your face is fresh. And then they already realize that you have issues. That's it. It, it, it just, it, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a very uh, emotional person. That's why I always like being happy. Because when I'm happy, my face don't show weakness.